What is good everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I am going to be updating you guys pretty much on everything that I've done since the last time I've uploaded. It has been quite some time since I last uploaded. I was actually checking YouTube today. I went back to my page. I was like, you know what? Let me check how long it's truly been. The last time I uploaded, I believe was November 30th, 2023, which means it's almost been an entire year since I last uploaded, which is bizarre and far too long. So uh, here I am. I'm back. I, I want to discuss pretty much. I just want to update you guys on my life and talk about everything I've done over the last year pretty much because again it's been like a year since i talked to you guys at least on this channel i do believe maybe i've i've yapped on other channels before but since it's been on this channel it's i literally have it. it's been a year since i last uploaded but um yeah i i'm i'm back I'm, I'm here i'm recording a video it feels weird um new new place new space new everything like there's just so much to talk about so i'm going to try to keep this video as short as i possibly can but i do like i said i want to update you guys on just some of the things that have been going on in my life you you guys know i'm a yapper so this video might end up being like 30 minutes and if so i'm so sorry i really don't want it to be that long but we'll try to keep it short um we're gonna go i'm just like i said i want to discuss what i've been doing with my life and we're gonna go start off all the way back with around november when i last stopped uploading so around that time um of course i was uploading a little bit here and there but it was very very unfrequent like i don't even know if that's a word but it was very not frequent at all and um Around the time, I, I'm going to just go ahead and like kind of list some of the things I've been doing. And I'll start off right off with the first one, which I know a lot of the people in my Discord already know this because it was like a bad problem that I had. One of the things that I got hooked on um, in between that time was playing Valorant. So around November of 2024, I started gaming a lot. Um, I, I got back into PC gaming because I really wasn't doing much else. So I was like, let me just get back into PC gaming. Um, I started playing Valorant. Um, around November when the first couple of months of playing it I was kind of just playing it casually you know just having a little bit of fun here and there playing with friends making friends making some new online friends talking to new people etc etc that was one of the things that I was really getting into but then around like February of this year I decided to like I was like you know what I want to take this game serious and I kind of want to try to get as good as I possibly can at it so I spent honestly a lot of this year all the way from again i started playing valorant in november of last year but february of this year is when i really got into it and to be completely honest with you guys from february of this year up until maybe september i literally just was playing valorant like 24 7 like i put hours and hours and hours into that game i honestly think i have i may have put a thousand hours into that game this year alone like i played this game so much in 2024 um i know this is like not the most interesting topic to start off what i've been doing my life with but i do feel like i should mention it because literally I would say that for the for this year alone for 2024 I would say most and the majority of my life was split was spent playing Valorant which might not be like the I'm definitely not proud of it but I I just had goals like I, like I said at first I was playing it for fun but then I decided to create goals within the game itself that I wanted to achieve and that's kind of what really spiraled spiraled me into this just constantly playing Valorant like I was I was literally on Valorant like 12 hours a day almost like six days a week it was really really bad how much i played valorant and i got a lot of friends from it and i gained a lot of friendships and i got to talk to a lot of people got to meet a lot of new people i even met some of these people irl like i traveled to go see them and stuff like that so there were good things that came out of it but i honestly do feel like i wasted a lot of this year 2024 just playing Valorant, which isn't good. I, I wouldn't recommend spending that much time on a video game unless you plan on going pro at it or something, which I didn't. So I eventually realized like, hey, I'm kind of wasting my time. I need to stop. But I figured I'd mention it because if I didn't mention it, I think the people in my Discord server would probably be like, how are you not even going to mention the thing that you did the most this year, which is play Valorant? Because like I said, like I played a lot of Valorant. Um, uh, moving on to like more bigger things, I ended up moving in around April of this year. I ended up moving into a new apartment. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this apartment is definitely not the same one. The setup looks very similar. I'll go ahead and move around here a bit, but the setup de definitely looks uh, very, very similar. I pretty much copy and pasted the setup from my previous setup into my new room. But um, this this is my new apartment now. I actually moved in with my best friend, which I was so excited when it finally happened. Um, we had been talking about moving in for like a couple of months, maybe like six months beforehand. And even it was like a conversation we even had like in high school and here and there because me and my friend, you guys have probably met him or not met him, but like you've seen him in some of my other videos. If you're like 
if you've watched this channel, like if you've ever, if you've ever gone and filtered this channel from oldest to newest videos, he's been in some of those videos on my other channel that I had, Nathan Padilla, the one where I did like IRL content. He's been in a lot of those videos as well. His name is Cameron. He's, he's been, like I said, like he's been in a lot of my videos. We've been best friends since fourth grade. I think that was 16. I think we've been best friends for like 16 years now. And we finally got an apartment together. Honestly, I was just tired of living alone. It wasn't fun anymore. Like I was not having fun living alone. Um, after being single for so long at some point just coming home to an empty apartment got really really bored especially after you had been living with someone pretty much for my entire life i had been living with someone from the day i was born up until i was about 22 i had been living with someone so those two years from when i was 22 to 24 you know the first year of living completely on my own in solitude was fun uh six months after that was a little bit fun too but it just started to become a decline in like my enjoyment of the, my living situation. I was like, this is really boring. Like if I'm not doing anything on the weekends, I'm literally just sitting here being super fucking bored. And I was, it was not, it was not cool. Not going to lie. Like I was not enjoying it. So I was like, you know what? Um, my friend wants to move out. He, he, had, he was still living with his parents. So Cameron wanted to move out. Um, I wanted to finally get a roommate. So we, we found a place. I actually kind of live like in a, a really similar area to where I did previously. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, I got a new apartment. Maybe I'll do an apartment tour at some point, but I'll go ahead and like post pictures of like my setup and stuff like that. And throughout this video, I'll post pictures of some of the stuff that I'm discussing. Um, but yeah, I got a new apartment, a new space. Uh, my bedroom in this apartment is definitely a lot bigger than the one in my other apartment, but the living room in this apartment is smaller than the other one in my other apartment. But as a whole, this apartment is, is a bit bigger. Um, it's a two bedroom now I lived in a one bedroom when I lived by myself but now I live in a two bedroom um, I'm loving it honestly I really really love the new living space um, not the biggest fan of the landlords but with that being said I still I still love the living space um, I love living with my best friend it is honestly some of the funnest times ever um, we we like don't see each other like every single day but when we do see each other like it, it's honestly like I know that like, there's a people like online have always talked about the risk of moving in with your best friend like you might end up hating them but it has not affected our friendship at all if anything it has made us a lot closer and i've loved every single second of it like living with my with my my homie cam has just been a blessing it has definitely been such a big improvement on life like what hella hella recommended um so yeah that's one of the other things i did um if you've been a long-term subscriber to this channel if you're here because of amazon content you'll know that i used to work at amazon I backtracked and ended up going back to Amazon. That's another thing I did. I did that in the summer of this year. I ended up going back and working at Amazon. I don't really have many pictures of that, but I think I do have one or two pictures that I'll post on the screen now. Um, so I worked at Amazon for a little bit and um, it was a sort center this time. I worked at a completely different place. Uh, last time I worked at a fulfillment center. This time I worked at a sort center. I hated it. I honestly hated it with all my life. I just, I was going to make content on it at the time, but I really just wanted to step away from the Amazon content altogether. And I didn't want to like make more content than I, that I really didn't enjoy making. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep this behind closed doors. I'm just going to keep it to myself. But I did work at a sort center for about two years or sorry, two years for about two months. I ended up quitting that again because I was like, this is terrible. Like this is literally the worst experience of my life. I could not do this. I don't know how people could do it. If you work at a sort center, honestly, respects to you. Kudos to you because it is infinitely more difficult than working at a fulfillment center. And it is just so annoying. Maybe I'll touch base on that more in the future, but honestly, probably not. But hey, leave it down in the comments below if you would like me to, so I can at least see and get a little vibe check on everyone's uh, interest and what they want to see from me. Um, I know you guys probably want to see Amazon content. Like I said, it's it's not really something I'm interested in making anymore, but I, did, I, I maybe I'd be down to, to talk about what it was like at working at a source center because it, it was bad, like it was terrible. Um, so yeah, I did return to Amazon, which I I think I said I never would again, maybe. I don't really remember anymore at this point, but um, yeah, what well, that was whatever. Another thing I did that was pretty fun was I went to a festival in Chicago. This was my first time ever going to a music festival. I had been wanting to go to one for forever. So around the same time that I was working at Amazon, um, I ended up going to Summer Smash in Chicago. Well, technically in Bridgeport, Illinois, but it's, it's, it's the greater Chicago area. So I went to a festival over there. I saw a lot of great artists. I saw Travis Scott, Don Tolliver. I saw Playboy Cardi. Um, who else did I see? I saw Lil Yachty. I saw Kodak Black. I saw Waka Flocka. Like I saw a lot of good rappers. Uh, hip hop is my personal favorite, um, music genre. So it was nice to go see a lot of artists that I really, really enjoyed. Um, I also went to like a Chicago Cubs game out there when I was in Chicago. I've been to Chicago 
I had been to Chicago twice before that. So this is like my third trip to Chicago. Um, I, 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 if you live in Chicago, I love your city. I'll just be blatantly honest. I love it. I've probably yapped about Chicago so much on this channel. So that's not something I need to even mention, but I love Chicago so much and I had a great time. I went out there and did a lot of different things. That was really, really fun. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyed my time in Chicago. One of the other things that I have, I'm, I'm keeping like track on what I've, what I've done on a little bit of a, a iPhone notes here. Um, one of the other things that I did this year, which I'm also kind of not proud of but i did do it so i might so i may as well mention it was drink and like i drank like a lot this year like um you could probably tell by the weight gain which i'll also talk about that a little bit more as well um in a little bit but one thing i definitely did this year was just drink i drank so much this year especially honestly like the last couple of months like especially since september i think since september i've been drinking like much more than I usually do again not something I'm really proud of but trust me I'm not like an alcoholic and I'm not like I don't have problems like I'm not sitting here drinking every single day but I'm definitely not just drinking on the weekends like I may have been like in 2022 because I do remember going through like a little bit of a drinking phase like in 2022 as well I kind of chilled out on that in 2023 but I kind of returned to that again in 2024 and like I'm not like you know, back then, I think in 2022, I was just drinking like every weekend. I think I'm kind of mixing in some weekdays here and there, a little bit of a thirsty Thursdays, like every single week or something like that. So like, yeah, it's definitely like, I, I promise you guys I don't have a problem, but like, I've definitely been drinking a lot more. It's, it's, it's just been, it, honestly, it's been a really, really fun time. Um, I've been enjoying it. I've been a lot more socially active because of that. And yeah, I, I want to backtrack a little bit on the socially active part too. Actually, no, I'll, sa I'll save that. I'll save that for the for the future in the, of this video. Um, one other thing I did was I saw Lionel Messi play live. I uh, I went to an Argentina game here in Houston, Texas at NRG Stadium. Um, Shouts out to you if you were there. If anyone is there, let me know down in the comments below. But I think Argentina played Colombia and I think it was Colombia anyway. And yeah, I ended up going to see that game. Um, Messi was probably like, one of my favorite players of all time, but always been a huge, huge Messi fan. So I got to see him play live in like in person for the first time, which was an incredible, incredible experience. Really, really fun. Um, uh, you guys know I love football. If you've been subscribed to the channel for a while or if you've paid attention to me on my social medias or anything like that, you guys will know that I really, really enjoy football. So to see like my favorite player pretty much of all time play live in person, it was just such a treat and such a good experience. Um, one of the other things I did that which might shock you guys, this happened, uh, all, all the last couple things I mentioned happened in the summer. This technically happened like in the summer as well as I ended up registering registering for school again so i'm back in college um i'm majoring currently in education so that's one thing i've been doing with my life as well i'm not just like um completely sitting here not doing nothing at all i am doing stuff um i, I just decided like i was like i was looking at what i was doing with my life um and like in the fall of last year or of this year, sorry, sorry, the spring of this year, because we are in fall right now. But I was looking at what I was doing with my life in the spring of this year. And I was like, I know I want to do YouTube still, but I'm like kind of having a creative writer's block right now. And I honestly am just a little bit lazy, but I need to do something with my life. I need to progress my life in some way. So I was like, I'm just going to go back to school. Um, I, I really, really think that something I would like to do that has to deal with, you know, going to school would be majoring in education and becoming like an elementary school teacher. That's something that I'm kind of really, really been interested in for the, for the, honestly, for the last couple of years, but like this year, definitely, it definitely impacted me enough to where I was like, okay, you know what, I'm going to just try to register for school again. So I ended up getting in, into a new, uh, getting accepted into a university, went right back into school. And, uh, I'm, I actually finished one of my classes um, in October and then another one of my cl classes finished literally yesterday. So I only have two classes left for the rest of the semester. I only have a couple more things to do for the uh, for the rest of the semester. And then I'm on break until January. I was going to do like one winter course, but because of the way that like my financial aid was working out and also just because of the fact that I was so burnt out from school this semester, um, I, I chose not to. So I'm just going to wait until um uh, winter semester start or sorry the spring semester starts uh, in January really really um, not looking forward to that if I'm being completely honest with you guys I mean I am but I'm not at the same time just to be blatantly honest like this semester has been incredibly difficult for the first time like I, I was at risk of failing a class and I'm actually still at risk of failing that class but that's only because of the fact that I don't know what my grades are for the final that I just did that can really determine if I pass that class or not praying I do of course um, but we'll see but yeah th this semester has not been easy honestly um, I, I think taking a long break from school um, that kind of impl that kind of like affected it just a little bit but I think I, I've been working like a lot recently like a lot a lot and just kind of trying to live my life like 
have a uh, trying to like carry my social uh, keep my social life intact and stuff like that and just balancing life school work um and then of course like my raging valor addiction that i had etc cetera, etc cetera. like all that stuff um definitely uh, has made school a lot more difficult. I think this is like the first time that I've really ever struggled in college before. And I think that just has a lot to do with the fact that like I have literally been working full time and doing school full time and just doing a lot of stuff at the same time and all this stuff simultaneously. Uh, it was a lot. And I definitely prioritized a lot of the other stuff in life that I did, uh, that I was doing um, over school. And I also went through some mental struggles this semester as well, like a lot of mental struggles, which really, really impacted my school performance. So I'm not going to sit here and say school has been easy. Like I've definitely, I'm definitely passing three of my classes. One of them um, I did definitely not doing so well in, but I'm trying my hardest to pick up my grade with that. And uh, hopefully next semester is better. In fact, I'm, I'm very certain and being set on making some next semester much better. Um, so that that's definitely one of my goals is to just focus up back on school again and like do better. But yeah, I am in college again. I'm going to major, I'm majoring in education and in hopes of becoming an elementary school teacher. Um, of course, my, my main goal is still to, to make YouTube content and make a living off of that. But like I said, like I've had writer's block for the longest. I've had no idea what to do. And I've also just been like, honestly, I've been lazy. Like I'm not going to sit here and lie. I've definitely been lazy. I'll hold myself accountable for that. I've been one of the laziest people on the planet this year. So that also doesn't help. But um, even when I'm not feeling lazy, even when I'm feeling motivated, I decide to do things like school instead of like YouTube because I just, I simply have, I, I, I know I want to do YouTube or some sort of content creation, but I simply don't know what exactly. So it's been a little bit more difficult in trying to figure out what to film and what I want to do with my channel and all this other stuff. So I've kind of just pushed it to the side and completely ignored it up until this point. Um, so that, that um, going back to school was a big thing that I did. Another thing that I did that I feel like I should definitely mention was eat because I ate a lot this year. Like I ate a lot. I think I was going through like my DoorDash history this year and I think I DoorDashed like over 170 times, um, which is not good and I'm definitely not proud of that, but I gained a lot of weight off of that too. Um, you guys can probably tell like a little bit. I'm not sure if you can. I don't know what I looked like in previous videos. I didn't actually go physically watch my last video, but you can probably tell like my face might look a lot rounder. My torso might like might look a lot heavier. I ate a lot this year. Um, the past the past month and a half, I've been trying to reverse that. And uh, I've been on a, a, a little of a bit of a late uh, weight loss journey. Um, but I gained, I think the last time I had checked my weight, which was probably around the same time that I last uploaded, maybe November of last year, I had weighed like around 160, 170. I ended up weighing 208 pounds. This was around um, October or sometime like that. I think it was, I think it was in October. Um, early October when I weighed, I, I stepped on the scale and I realized like, damn, I'm two, I'm over 200. I had never in my life been over 200. The heaviest I had ever weighed was like around 160 and I had weighed 200 pounds, which was insane to me because when I weighed 160, that was me gaining a lot of weight. So to have hit 208 pounds was a lot. So the last month and a half, I think I started, um, in early October, I started a weight loss journey and I've lost 19 pounds, um, since, I think like I think maybe October 12th or October 8th. One of those two is when I started my weight loss journey and I went down from 208 pounds and right now I weigh 185. Uh, that's not 19 pounds. I did my math wrong. But however much that weight like it's like what 15 25 that's, I don't know how many, you could, you guys can do the math. I, I, the only reason I said 19 pounds was because it was 19 pounds a couple of days ago when I, or like last week, whenever somebody had asked me how much I lost, it was 19 pounds at that time. So I'm kind of just sticking with that, but that's definitely not 19 pounds at all. Um, so yeah, I've, I've lost a, a good amount of weight now again from 208 to 185 i think is pretty solid progress like literally within less than two months the if you guys are wondering like what i've done to lose that weight to keep it short and simple eat less eat less because i was eating like um three or four meals every single day like i was i'm one of those people like okay i'm not one of those people but like i in during my fat period that i went through this year like i was like i need to eat three meals a day minimum and then i was always snacking in between that and then i was always eating late as hell and going to bed like shortly after eating i just had a lot of bad eating habits like i'm definitely addicted to food so i had to kick that habit to the curb so i've definitely worked on losing a lot of weight this uh, this last month um over the last like week and a half i've been very stagnant like i think i was eight, like 185 pounds a week and a half ago too because i kind of went back into eating a little bit so i kind of relapsed i guess but i'm definitely still wanting to hit my goal um i don't really know what my goal is um 
but I want to get into shape enough to where I can run again and not have my ankle hurting. Um, so yeah, I lost a lot of weight, but I did eat a lot this year. Like I ate so much. I was door dashing so much. I was going out to eat so much. I was literally just eating the world one restaurant at a time. It was so bad. And I'm like, if you guys think I look heavy now compared to how I did maybe last year, I looked significantly heavier just last month. So definitely proud to have lost weight but there's so much more work that needs to be done because i don't like being fat not gonna lie i am not a fan of being fat like 208 pounds for me was not a healthy look and i still look very unhealthy but i want i want to fix that so i'm doing everything i can like i said my if, if you guys are looking for like some weight loss recommendations please just eat less like it is so much it is so easy to just eat less if you really control yourself um and i'm talking i'm someone who was like addicted to food so trust me if i can do it you can do it too trust um another one of the things that i did this year was i, I made friends um through a couple parties uh, parties i threw like a housewarming party back when me and my uh me and my friend cam moved into this apartment um i threw a halloween party last month which was fun um but i also just made a lot more friends in general um this year was definitely like one of my most socially active years and i really really needed this i think this is th this year was generally like my most socially active year since i graduated high school like i was hanging out with people all the time and these are different people too like usually i just go back to my same group of friends or my same like my my roommate i would just go back and hang out with him only or whatever but this year i, I rekindled a lot of friendships that i had from high school that i didn't necessarily had a falling out with or like a bad you know fallout with but just people that kind of we just grew apart i ended up rekindling a lot of relationships with a lot of people from high school um i spent a lot of time on discord like i said i was playing valorant and to be honest even though i did feel like i wasted a lot of my life on valorant um i did make a lot of friends from that so i made a lot of friends from playing valorant like definitely a good amount of friends and we would just hang out in, in vc on discord every single night literally playing games for hours and hours a day like there was a day that i spent i think 16 or 18 hours of my entire day on in a in in a voice chat like literally i was in vc for like 18 hours i think it was um it was something it was insane like i did not leave my computer i was just sitting on discord for like 18 hours talking with my friends that's when i realized i had a problem but like i didn't care at the time because you know it was better than like doing a lot of the stupid stuff that i would have been doing otherwise so yeah i did spend a lot of time on discord just wasting a lot of time but like i did make a lot of friends through there and i even like i said like i met some of those friends online um and yeah i and then i made a lot of iro friends um it, it's just been a very socially active year for me which i am so happy to have like a social life back because i do feel like i was struggling with that the past couple of years especially in 2022 if 2022 me saw a 2024 me now he'd be so happy and so proud because i thought i was never going to get friends again but here i am i have uh, a lot of friends um a lot of my social activity is definitely online still but a lot of it is irl on the weekends now you know hanging out with friends or even just hanging out with my roommate we'll just go to the living room together and like watch movies and just drink all night and stuff like that doing little stuff like that is fun um i've really really enjoyed my friendships i'm honestly i think in in my life I, I value friendships and the people around me probably the most out of anything. I really, really value my friendships and relationships. So being able to, to you know, have a lot of connections with people and build meaningly or meaningful and valuable relationships to me is very, very important. And I've done a lot of that this year. So it makes me really, really happy. Um, I even met some people through uh, my channel. Like I, I met one of my friends from Florida. Um, he had come, he had flown over to see me. Uh, we literally met because he joined my discord server. He used to be a subscriber of this channel. He joined my discord server. We became friends and talked for a couple of years and Hey, we ended up meeting a couple of months ago. He actually came over for Halloween weekend last month in October. And that was a lot of fun. So definitely definitely had a lot of fun with that yeah it's it's been it's been a good time um through again through some couple through parties here and there and stuff and then i guess one of the last things that i could talk about that i did this year was just travel i didn't really travel as much as i have previous years but i still did travel like i went to chicago twice um i know i mentioned sh going to chicago for that music festival that i went to but i also went to chicago for um what did I go to Chicago? Oh, I went to Chicago last month for another concert. I went for Billie Eilish. Actually, I say last month. That was literally like two weeks ago in November. I went to go see Billie Eilish at United Center in Chicago. Um, I went out there with another friend from my Discord server that also we met through this channel. So, hey, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe one day one of you guys will be, I'll be really good friends with you guys because I've met so many friends to this channel now, which I'm so grateful for. I'm so grateful for all of you. Um, but yeah, I, I ended up going to Chicago with one of my friends. We had a good time out there. And uh, I also went to 
Austin with one of my friends for her birthday. Uh, we went, uh, we just went out there to Sixth Street and just drank. I had never been to Sixth Street before. I'm definitely too old to be going to Sixth Street now that I now that I have been. I would go back for sure. Don't get me wrong, but I've heard there's other streets out there that are for more people my age because I'm 25 now. Sixth Street was definitely like a lot of 21, 22 year olds, which is pretty young, and a lot of like people that didn't even look like they were 21 yet. To be completely honest, but uh, had a lot of fun out there in Austin. Like I said, that was my first time going out there. Had a blast. Um, we only went out there for one day, but that is a place that I traveled to. That same friend that I went, we also went to Fredericksburg. We went there for a wedding, and that was a lot of fun too. And just had a, overall a really, really great time. Really, really have enjoyed these last couple of months. I've traveled. I traveled this month. I traveled last month. Um, and again, Fredericksburg is just a place in Texas. Austin is another city in Texas. Like these are just places in Texas, but like it is nice to get away. And even if it's only for a day or two, it's nice to have fun and go do stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Like I, that that's kind of the main things that I've done over the last couple of months, um, over the last year. I've just... I've, I've ate a lot, I've drank a lot, I've hung out with friends a lot, which has been so nice. I, I enrolled back in school. I've been hanging out on Discord a lot. If you guys want to catch up with me, um, you can follow me on Instagram at Nathan Padilla, or you can go to my Discord server. When you join my Discord server, it used to be called C11's Discord. It's now just called Bananas Cafe. Banana is the alias that I go on, on Valorant and Discord and all those other things. So Bananas Cafe will be the one that you join. If you do want to join and you want to catch up with me, maybe you want to talk to me, talk to the people in there. There's a lot of cool people in there so trust me it's a fun time um but yeah i hung out with friends a lot um just got to move in with my best friend got a new apartment um everything everything's been decent um the last the last couple of months haven't been like the greatest like i've definitely been going through some mental struggles everything hasn't been all sunshines and rainbows but at the same time like i would say this year was a, a very very solid year i can't believe it's taken me almost 12 months to finally upload in 2024 like it's almost december and i'm finally uploading now but like hey at least i'm uploading in this video like you guys may want me to discuss like what's going to go on going forward um unfortunately i'm not going to do that i want to keep those things to myself i want to kind of move in silence for the next couple of months i mean i guess if you're not really involved in like my discord server or anything like that I have been moving in silence, but if you follow me on social media or you follow me on, uh, if you're on discord or whatever, you, you'll see what I've been up to, especially through my discord server. You'll definitely see what I've been up to like every single day. So I haven't really technically been moving in silence, but I think over like over time, I just want to move in silence and, you know, release videos here and there and do what I got to do on my own timing and not really, I don't want to get anyone's hope. I don't want to get anyone's hope up and tell them like, Hey, I'm about to upload a video every Wednesday and Saturday. And then something falls through and I'm not able to do that. So that's why I'm not going to discuss what my future video plans are, but in my mind, I'm cooking all these things up and I have a lot of plans and a lot of things that I want to do with YouTube and with my career here on YouTube. So yeah, um, that, that's, that's been my life that that's been my life for the last couple of the, well, the last year I've been just honestly, I think if I had to sum it up in one in one like sentence, I guess I've been hanging out with friends. I've rebuilt a lot of my social connections, made a lot of friends, and just been doing a lot of friends, uh, doing a lot of fun stuff. So, yeah, that that's been that's been it. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I just want to catch up with you guys for a little bit. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys are doing. And again, join my Discord server if you haven't already. Um, follow me on instagram do all that cool stuff please let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions maybe i can make like a q a um about my life and what i've been doing maybe i'll do like a little q a so if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below and i'll get to that but with that being said i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up and i'll um yeah i'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up so it's nice to talk to you guys i've missed you so so much trust me don't 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 think that i've been here like not thinking about you guys literally every fucking day pretty much like literally every day or every week i've been like i need to upload i need to upload i need to upload but then i just don't know what to upload so i don't upload at all but um i'm trying to get back into it and i'm trying to uh trying to prioritize work again which is youtube and i'm trying to make hard work my best friend so yeah catch you guys on the next one love you all peace